Today, I'm going to talk about how we can better understand the relationship between dyslexia and sensory processing ab abilities. Now, the research shows that dyslexic children show impairments in steady fixation and possible motion processing disorders. They also have an additional diagnosis frequently of developmental coordination disorder. Now, what does all that mean? To a sensory-based occupational therapist, it really sends up a red flag that a child might need to be tested for sensory processing deficits that are compromising visual vestibular integration and the development of postural ocular skills that are needed for adequate coordination and body control. So now you're definitely asking, what does all that mean exactly? Well, what it means is this. The vestibular system does much more than give us balance. It gives us a uh, regulation to our nervous system to impact alertness, to um, increase blood flow to the muscles, and engage our eyes to monitor the environment so that we can determine how to react uh, with our body to incoming sensory information. Now, why would I care about this if a child just has a diagnosis of dyslexia? Well, we care because the research tells us that the cerebellum, which is a part of the brain that we used to think was only responsible for motor skills, actually has projections to all the areas of the brain that support development of language, executive functions, and perception. And research shows that improving motion processing, which is the detection of movement through vision and your resulting motor ability to adapt to that movement information, actually improves phonological awareness and lexical decision making. Now, does that mean we should just teach a kid to juggle and not give them reading support to build phonological awareness? Definitely not. But it does make occupational therapy and possibly physical therapy, if you also have developmental coordination disorder, a valuable intervention for children with dyslexia. And improving these foundational sensory and motor skills can directly support a child's ability to engage in reading and enhance their ability to activate the parts of the brain that are necessary for quickly decoding and reading with good comprehension. Children with dyslexia also have sluggish attention shifting between visual and auditory stimuli. But if we improve the ability of a child to use his vision functionally, especially when we combine it with movement or hand-eye coordination exercises, we may also see improved attention shifting because the visual system is not working so hard throughout the day. Now, this research has not really uh, been done to really look at if doing uh, more motion processing supports is also going to help this attention shifting from visual to auditory information, but it is an interesting thought and it certainly can't hurt to try and to see if you see if there is an improvement in that attention shifting as a result of the visual system actually being stronger and able to detect um, motion or things that are going on around them more easily. So just because a child has a dyslexia diagnosis, I really am going to encourage you not just to put all your focus on reading and tutors and academic supports, but get a thorough sensory-based occupational therapy evaluation, or at the very least, start building in some hand-eye coordination activities like drug juggling or dribbling a basketball or shooting to different targets around the room with a beanbag. Uh, one other thing you could also do is set up obstacle courses that have targets and log rolling and somersaults salts, hopping, flipping, anything that really gets the head to change direction and the vision to reorient in a different plane. Now, you can also take these activities and add in a few sight words or vocabulary words to reinforce decoding and visual word recognition while you're playing. And it's likely that when you combine these types of activities, you're going to see much faster progress than just with tutoring alone because you are supporting the natural way that the brain learns information and, wire, and wire the, wiring the brain to succeed in reading. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it interesting and got some good information, please like the video, share it with people who are interested, leave a comment and give us your feedback on what you'd like to hear more about. My name is Aubrey Schmalley. I am a pediatric sensory integrative occupational therapist, owner of Sensational Achievements in Stanford and author of the Body Activated Learning Framework. So stay tuned. We hope to be bringing you a lot more great videos throughout this year.